right, Schmo Vale here with Charlie from Emergency Awesome. How was your experience around the Schmo's No Movie It was show? awesome. I, uh, yeah, I've been watching these guys for a long time. Never done a live podcast before, so this is like, you know, I kind of broke my cherry, so this is all fun. Yeah, nice, man. Well, you did a lot of, you did really good. It was a lot of fun. Um, you obviously know your stuff about comic books and all these Marvel movies and stuff, and there's people walking around, but that's okay. That's totally cool. So, uh, let's see. Let's talk about Ant-Man and uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, out of the two, what did you favor? You know, actually, um, they're so different that, um, I don't really don't think of it as like either or. Uh, Age of Ultron is like the the big roller coaster. It's like going to Disneyland. Yeah. You know, um, Ant Man is more more of like the small indie indie film. So if, if you're looking for like a, a personal film, Ant Man is probably the better way to go. And I thought it did a really good job of that. Yeah. I, I think if, if they would have tried to do the big blockbuster Avengers Age of Ultron thing with it, it, it wouldn't have been nearly as good of a movie. Right. So right on. I'm sometimes with you smaller there. is better. Yeah. And what about Civil War? What are you thinking about it? I think it's going to be amazing. You know, it's like Avengers 2.5 right. because there's so many characters in it. Mm -hmm. um, I think, it, you know, it'll be a real test, uh, especially now with some of the behind-the-scenes creative changes that Marvel's going through. So I'll be interested to see, you know, how they use Robert Downey Jr. in the future because originally, like, there's no Iron Man film on the books right now. Um, and Chris Evans' contract is up really soon. So it's like, it really is like Civil War inside Marvel Studios <laughs> right now. Right, right on. Cool, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, thank you for having me, everybody.